This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. House as a result. So why not? So take a look, SaveWithConrad.com. And we're taking a look at one of the greats today, uh, Magnum TA. And of course, don't forget Dynamite. You want to talk about Dynamite, man? You guys had a Dynamite show this past Friday and boy, we were off to the races and, uh, it feels like we're in for a string of big shows coming up. Yeah. A lot of big things are playing. Tony Khan's, uh, really got some, uh, amazing creative thoughts going forward. You know, we have goals and destinations and the, the, why I say that is that it used to be, and if you think about it this way, it makes all the sense in the world. If you know your destination, you can adjust your route. You can make stops at Bucky's. You can make stops at the seven 11 or at the QT, not QT Marshall, but you know, the, a real QT and, and it, but you're still going to the same destination. Watts used to book the mid South territory around three or four major events a year. And so he would book the, he booked the blow off. For example, let's say a Thanksgiving night spectacular in the Superdome. Right. He would book his main event. He would know the finish months before they had their first match. And so then he had a, he had a map. He had created his own roadmap. The destination was Thanksgiving night, the Superdome. Now, how best can we facilitate this creative journey to sell more tickets? Cause there, excuse me, there was no more, there was no, uh, you know, pay-per-view and all that stuff. If you didn't sell it, your money was made on ticket sales, right? Put in the old proverbial ass every 18 inches as we like to t- talk about. So, uh, or at least I do, uh, it's a fun thing. Put an ass every 18 inches is a fun deal, man. Uh, our, I think our kids, uh, at, uh, AEW had a little bit of a, I don't know what the right word would be to use. Oh, maybe hangover after that huge crowd we had at Daly's place, which the, you know, were out loud. And it's amazing how loud they work on red because there's just a little covering rain covering on that facility. Right. It, it doesn't, it, it doesn't capture all it's an amphitheater. So it doesn't capture all the noise. So a lot of noise, you know, went up, went up smoke, so, so anyway, uh, but that's the deal. But Tony's doing some really cool things. And I think the fans are going to be really excited about where we're headed and who's going to be traveling with us and uh, all those things. Uh, a lot of big matches are being built kind of slowly. That's kind of how we do things. It's not like you shoot an angle in the first part of the show and you blow it off in the, at the end of the night. Right. I don't think wrestling fans really truly appreciate that. Even though some would say some younger fans might say, well, I'm impatient. I don't want to watch a one hour match whatever it may be. And I, and I don't know if I want to watch a one hour match either, unless it's good. If it's right. good, feed me some more of it. Absolutely. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.